Join me and my dad while we explore subscription boxes, the outdoors, gear and equipment, and other fun things and places. Before we get started, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding! Well, thank you for that amazing introduction, Miraculous Squirrel, and thank you everyone for joining us again here on Exploring It All. So, today, I'm going to be unboxing something a little bit different, but it's an EDC item, and as you can see, there's a lot of things that you can consider EDC. you got your multi-tools and pocket knives and flashlights and pins, more pocket knives. I have this new Civivi knife that I just got. This is called the Spiny Dogfish. Uh, I just got this in a mystery box from uh, Blue Creek Knives. So uh, you can check them out. But anyway, so today I'm going to move all this stuff aside. And this is from a company called Watch Game. Now, I don't know how long I'm going to do this for. But uh, I do have a few watches that my dad gave to me. A lot of people really don't um, don't really wear watches anymore, you know, because everyone's phones has a watch now and, and stuff. But um, I do, and part of the reason, I'll even tell you guys, I'm retired now, but prior to that, I was a correctional officer in a supermax prison, and we weren't allowed to take our phones in and you have all these, I mean, there are clocks around the prison all over the place, but you you have to write times in your logbooks and, and you have to do certain things at certain times and stuff like that. And you need a watch and you don't have a phone. So I'm one of those people who still wears a watch. Anyway, like I said, I have a few and I change it up. And I thought, hey, I wonder if there's any knife subscriptions. And I just kind of did a little search and checked out a few videos and stuff. Now, this has multiple levels. And uh, like I said, this is called Watch Gang. This is my very first one. And they, they have something about spinning a wheel and everything. I, I think you get points or something. But uh, this was the literature I got. I'm... And they have different tiers, different tier levels and stuff for their uh, subscription. I just did the, the lower tier one, which was $75. It used to be less, but hey, inflation. And uh, I just figured, hey, let's take a look at it. And I subscribe to this uh, on a quarterly basis, I believe. So I don't even know when the next one will come. But uh, I know that it came very quickly after billing, and I'm sure that the next one will be the same. And I may just do this for a couple months. Two or three watches, and I'm sure I'll be ready to end this. Anyway, so here we go. This is by Breed Brand, and I may do a little research to add in here later after we look at this. Um, comes with a... This is a card here, a certificate of our authenticity and the website for this brand of watch. And international warranty card. It's just a blank card you put your information on. And here we go. I don't know, Minahan's moving, but of course right now it's not set to run, so uh, that's one of the first things that we're going to have to do here. This has a very thick leather band on it. This has a nice uh, nice genuine leather band. I like the band. This is a good sized watch. Let's set it real quick here. There's no counter in here. There's a little nub in there. 
let's see here. What time is it? All right, so I got that set, but I want to set my second hand properly here. So this should be exactly right now. That is right. It is almost midnight. One minute till. I've been recently working on watches. So I recognize how this unscrews open. This is only, what does it say, five ATMs. Um, and I forget what that is, uh, 30 minute, meters. All right, so this says it will go to five ATM, which is the equivalent of about 50 meters. And it is um, about 164 feet. Turn around right that is actually the accurate time there it's it's a smooth kind of polished steel on this um, you know they they never give you any of the information really let's see here so I did a little looking up on this particular model and this is 316 L surgical quality stainless steel case so it's a stainless steel case, and they say it's surgical quality. It's got precision Japanese quartz movement. However, it's really funny because this on the box, it says it's made in China. So <laughs> I'm not really sure what that means. So it has Japanese movement, but it's made in China. It has a non-glare scratch resistant mineral crystal. And I want to say... Yes, this actually has a little clear film on it. As it probably does on the back too. Um, it has a logo engraved case back. So we see the logo engraving on the case back. Genuine leather strap. Logo engraved stainless steel push button. I don't see any engraved push button. Huh. Oh, deployment clasp. Okay, they're talking about the uh, buckle, I guess. On a watch, it's called a clasp. Uh, it has luminous hands. So if we were to make these hands glow, which we can, this hasn't been out in the sun, but I have a UV light. And I don't know, these are glowing quite bright under the light right now. And I'm going to charge this up for a second. I'm not going to make you guys watch through all of it. So now you guys can see, or maybe you can't, I don't know. But anyway, that's the illuminations of the lights. I could, I could see the hands fairly well. I don't know if you can see it in complete blackness. Um, and uh, the case diameter is 43 millimeters. And as we mentioned earlier, it's 5 ATM water resistance, which is fair. I guess I should also mention, I did look up the Regular retail price on this watch was $350 and it was on sale for $119 when I checked the Breed website. Um, so the price, I, I want to say the subscription was like maybe $50, $55 and then there was tax and shipping or maybe the whole thing was just $75. But I know that my cost was around $75. Um, the band is very thick.
and it will require a little bit of break in I think. I'm a left wrist watch person myself. I like that. That's a pretty nice watch. The band appears to be, I'm going to say black in color. I like it. That's a cool watch. Breed watch. Anyway, guys, so that's a look at the Watch King Breed Watch. My first one uh, receiving that this month. And uh, inside would be seconds. So there's seconds inside the dial there. I think the inside of that looks pretty neat. I like that steel. Um, my dad used to love, really like watches with very plain faces and not any of the minute number markings in it. It does have, like I said, it does have the second markings though. But overall, I think it's a pretty cool watch. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, well guys, tell me what you think. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and remember, be nice to each other.